So we microchip all the sloths. Um, and then they have an ID code that'll pop up right there. And I can look up who it is, if it's one of us, like if it's a sloth that we've released or if it's a wild sloth. Ah, we got to read. Okay. My name is Tessa and I'm the release site manager at Toucan Rescue Ranch. I grew up my whole life coming to Costa Rica. My mom is Costa Rican and so we'd come to not only visit family but to get to know the beautiful places that Costa Rica has to offer. The wildlife here in this country is the reason I'm here today. The idea is just to keep the injury clean and allow her to heal properly. I started volunteering here when I was quite young. Every time that I was here, I was making a difference for the animal that I was working with. It was something so tangible. You could really, really see the effect that you were having on it. I guess I just kind of fell in love with that. As I grew older, I realized that not only is wildlife interesting and beautiful, but we as humans have to protect it. I grew up here in Costa Rica, and so I spent a lot of time here as a kid. And then I left for many, many years, and then I came back. I was really learning about the animals. I felt like, yes, this is exactly what I wanted to be involved in. So I went back to the States, I quit my job, I told everybody I was leaving, and I started Toucan Rescue Ranch. Sloths are some of the most mysterious creatures out there. They are very much unlike everything that you've heard about them. What we think we know is not what the reality of it is. Finding out how different they are from what people think they are has been one of the most fascinating things that I've come across. Sloths are honestly a very understudied species. Their importance in ecosystems has still yet to be discovered. Sloths used to be one of the most biodiverse groups of animals who have ever existed on the face of Earth. They are some of the very, very last properly South American evolved mammal lineages that still exist. A lot of what we're seeing right now are the lack of those keystone species that have become extinct. They are essentially like gardeners. Their most important role is eating those fresh leaves, eating those shoots, and keeping the populations of trees under control. It keeps the biodiversity of a specific piece of land or jungle in check. They are some of the most resilient creatures that I've ever come across. I've seen sloths with some of the most outrageous injuries that still prevail. They can heal from injuries that would kill other animals. That's fascinating and one of the biggest mysteries. Here in Sarapiqui, Costa Rica, where the release site is located, we're on the border of where humans coexist with animals. When we're on that border, we get more human-wildlife conflicts. The sloths that come into our program are coming in from electrocutions, being stuck in barbed wire, sometimes being run over. And those are all kinds of things that human encroachment has caused. If a sloth goes from one tree and sees across the road another tree, more forest, their only connector could be a power line, and they don't know that's dangerous. Since this injury came from an electrocution, we are still kind of looking at some telltale signs that may cue us in onto whether she has more internal damage. We also have the right to exist, but we can't just eliminate everything in our path without consideration for the other species that share the world with us, and that includes sloths. She's a very, very, very good candidate for release. As you can see, she's really, really, really aggressive. What's wrong? 
and really, really, really strong. And because she's so aggressive and so strong, we think she will be going out quite soon. For many, many years, I kept trying to reach out to different groups in Costa Rica, and it was really hard to get collaboration. When I let the wildlife department know that we were interested in helping out with sloths, they were really excited because at the time, there was only one group working with sloths. When I met Sam from the Sloth Institute, we were coming up with a plan to figure out how she could help us release our juveniles and track them. In 2017, we set up the whole program together. It was working really well. The sloths went on to have babies themselves, and so that was like super exciting to go out there and see like the first baby born in the wild of a sloth that had been raised. To see them reestablish themselves back into the wild is truly the most rewarding feeling. You're allowing an animal that was taken from the wild by something that is, in a lot of ways, my responsibility, our responsibility, giving it the opportunity to heal up the parts that were taken by us, and then seeing it in the wild, it's one of the best feelings in the world because you know that animal is gonna keep contributing to its species in the way that it was meant to from the very beginning. Five, seven, eight, that's Howie. I know this sloth too. <laughs> so Howie and Lou are both sloths that we've released back onto the property. They've been here a while, but they went to the clinic recently for a general health checkup. So we'll let them be. <laughs> My hope for the future is that people know no matter where they are in the world, no matter who they are, they can make a difference. It doesn't mean that you have to live in the middle of the jungle and be hands-on with animals. No action is too small. Every little thing that you can do can make a difference in the fight to protect wildlife. <laughs>